Hi, you don't know me. I'm Stranger Dave. And I've got a little bit of everything going on with these caterpillars right now. Right now you can see one that is spinning. The one that's just kind of moving around and touching its uh, mouth to uh, twigs and leaves is spinning. The one that seems to be just kind of writhing around. And then of course there are two that are eating leaves and there's one down below that may be just looking for something to eat too but uh, initially when they're spinning like this you can't even tell that there's any silk and then you come back later and they'll have a thin veil of white over them and pretty soon you end up with something that looks like this let's see here and this is wrapped in an oak leaf and it's hard for me to believe that those big caterpillars that are as long as and thick as my finger ultimately fit into this cocoon and that cocoon will stay closed until early next summer late next spring and a polyphemus moth will emerge from that now I have one caterpillar that just went through its final molt and for whatever reason this little guy um, was delayed and let me sit him down so I can focus on him better where is he? There he is. Sorry about this. There he is. Okay. He ha he's just molted. And because he's molted, his, his head is very light colored. It hasn't hardened up yet. But he will get every bit as big as the other caterpillars. So I'm going to put him back over here where he'll be safe. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Back to these guys. Yeah, there's our, there's our spinner. I think he's a little disturbed by these caterpillars eating the leaves that he's incorporating into his cocoon. But he will manage. Even if he has to leave and go somewhere else, he'll be all right. And we've got a couple more down here that are eating. There's a, a group. You can see some of them that are wrapped up in leaves. You see that one leaf is all covered in silk. It's not just shiny. And sometimes they will lay out a mat of silk on a leaf and then start to draw it around themselves. And then there's a, there's a couple eating as well. So we have a combination of spinners and eaters. Pretty cool. Let me get something down there to, I don't know if I can hold a penny down by these guys. They're so big. I'm sorry about all this whipping around, but they are so big now that uh, a penny, is, you can see one of their droppings down there, how big their droppings are. But, uh, I mean, they're... There's no comparison. I mean, they're, they're a lot bigger than the penny now. They're like a finger. And my finger's a little farther away. So, anyway, I'm going to pause for a second. I wanted to show you all these uh, cocoons that I have on this uh, lid of this container. There's a bunch of cocoons. I think there's 30 of them right there. Uh, all together and I've still got some that are in the container now these are my Prometheus which are in their fourth instar now they're starting to get big uh, they will not get anywhere near as big as those polyphemus but this is one of my biggest ones down here I'm only a penny by him just like oops didn't stay just so you can see. Okay. 
There is a Promethea with a penny. So they're quite a bit smaller. They've got some growing to do. So that's pretty cool. Let me pan back on this guy. This is just looking in at the bottom of him there. The camera wants to focus on the leaves and not the caterpillar. But okay. There we go. Well, that's the bottom of a Promethea. I'm trying to get a foothold. So here we have a lot of a lot of Promethea caterpillars in their fourth instar with their red thoracic tubercles eating sassafras leaves. And they seem pretty happy. I, I wish that sassafras kept as well as oak because oak leaves keep much longer. So I have to get these sassafras just about every day because they wilt. So anyway, this is kind of a combination Promethea polyphemus video and I hope you like the video and I hope you don't mind too terribly much that I'm jerking the camera around but if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of thing and other things that I will be doing later on but I've been kind of hung up on caterpillars right now because they're uh, they take up a lot of time to take care of. So, hope you like the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.